Well, welcome back. I'm Pastor Michelle Allen here at First Presbyterian Church in Williamstown, New Jersey. And uh, we are going to continue today, after starting this yesterday, sharing some of the scriptures that I, I know and have turned to in particular circumstances in life uh, or have shared with people that have, have been found in these certain circumstances in life that I think will be helpful for you. And uh, like I encouraged you yesterday, if you want to mark your Bible or uh, put a little notation in there or, or just make a list. I think I showed you yesterday this picture of uh, what I've put together for myself that I put in my Bible uh, so that when I need them, they're there uh, to go to. And today I wanted to look at one verse that I found, and I'll tell you how I found this one. I was memorizing one verse from every one of the Psalms a uh, number of years ago, and this one's stood out to me. You know, as you go through the Psalms, you're going to find, anytime you read God's Word, really, you're going to find that there's certain verses that just seem to grab at you, you know, and uh, not that I've ever had this issue, but if I ever do, I know a lot of people who have this issue, but uh, this I thought would make a great verse to put to memory uh, because it, 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 it's going to be helpful. So, the issue here is trouble sleeping. How many of you have trouble sleeping? How many of you know somebody who has trouble sleeping? Um, so there is a verse in Psalm 4 at the very end of the, of the psalm. So Psalm 4, verse 8. And it goes like, and again, there are different ways that people, you know, that certain um, Bibles have arranged these words, but they all say the same thing. Mine, you know, this is a newer, this is a different version uh, from the one that I memorized. So I got to make sure I read the right one or say the right one. But... Psalm 4, verse 8, that in the, the Pew Bible, so to speak, it says, I will both lie down and sleep in peace, for you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. Beautiful verse. You know, if you meditate on that, if you keep repeating that in your time where you're having trouble sleeping, instead of counting sheep, <laughs> wait a minute, instead of counting sheep, That accountant sheep. <laughs> um, focus on the word of God. And this says, I will both, I will both lie down and sleep. All right? So you're going to lie down and you're going to sleep. How? In peace. In other words, I'm not going to have distress. I'm not going to have anxiety. Because that's usually what keeps us up, right? Maybe a little indigestion sometimes too. But Basically, there's something on our hearts or on our minds that's causing, people say, my mind is racing. Uh, my heart is beating fast, you know. They're excited about something, you know. You could be excited for a good thing, um, or you could be anxious about a bad thing. So, um, whether it's test results you're waiting on, or whether it's uh, you're getting married tomorrow, or, you know, whatever it is. We know that rest is important, because even God rested on the seventh day. So, um even more so for us, we need that rest. You need to be able to relax. You need to be able to disengage from the world. Very, very important because our bodies can't handle the stress and the anxiety. You can do it only for so long and then it's going to start to wear you. So I will both lie down. Now notice, I will. It doesn't say, eh, I'll, give it a, I'll give it a try. It says, I will. So you, ha you know, in life, especially in the Christian life, you have to, how do I want to put it? You have to sometimes be stern with yourself. You know what I'm saying? You have to be determined. You have to say, this is what I'm going to do. Some people would call it stubborn. But I think when it comes down to it, you got to make a choice here. You can't be wishy-washy. you got to say, this is what I'm going to do. So notice it says that. I will both lie down and sleep in peace for... That means because, all right, for, because, you alone, O oh Lord, make me lie down in safety. Um, looking to the Lord. So when you're saying this, you're, say, you're having a conversation with the Lord. That's part of the relief that we seek. You know, you've got to have that intimacy with the Lord. He wants that kind of intimacy with us. So he says, I will do such and such because you alone, O Lord, make me lie down in safety. You make it happen. 
you're looking to the Lord for relief. And it says, it's interesting enough, you make me lie down in safety. In other words, all these things that are pressing in, I can avoid them. You're going to pretty much put a hedge around me so that I can rest, so that I can sleep, so that I can lie down and have peace. So, now, we believe that these psalms were written by David. Well, David had good reason to have trouble sleeping, right? If you know the story of his life. Well, I mean, Saul and his men were out to get him, to kill him at one point, a uh, number of times. So he had good reason to be worried about not being able to sleep because maybe if he fell asleep, they'd come and kill him and he wouldn't be able to defend himself or run away or whatever. Um, in our lives, you know, we're <laughs> most of us don't have somebody hunting us down to kill us. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, stress and anxiety uh, can give way to heart attacks, which will kill you. Uh, stress and anxiety will uh, work on your blood pressure, which can give you issues in living. Uh, there are all sorts of things uh, that are the enemies of life and anxiety and, and worry. Uh, those are actually not friends. So um, knowing this verse, uh, the way I memorized it was in uh, both um, lying down and uh, sleeping, I will find peace for you alone, O Lord. Uh, give me my safety. So a little different, but still the same essence. Um, so this is a verse that I would definitely put to memory. If you ever find yourself unable to sleep, it's a great one to go to. You know? And again, depending on your version, but basically I will both lie down and sleep in peace for you alone, O Lord. Make me lie down in safety. And remember, there's another psalm that talks about he makes me lie down in green pastures. So you got, God loves to have us just lie down. You know, we got to get that rest and God makes it happen. So share that with a friend. Maybe you know somebody who's having trouble. Maybe you yourself are having trouble sleeping. Make that your prayer. Uh, if you wake up in the middle of the night, can't sleep, make that your prayer before you go to bed at night. Um, recite that verse and see what happens. Really connect with Jesus on that one. Let's pray. Precious Lord, we know that you had many reasons not to have a good night's sleep when you walked this earth. If anybody had the weight of the world on his shoulders, it certainly was you. Uh, for you carried our sins all the way to the cross and you knew uh, what was coming. But help us, Lord, uh, to believe in you that even as you could rest in that boat on that windy day out in the Sea of Galilee, uh, when the disciples actually had to wake you up, uh, even though there was a lot of wind and there was uh, a lot of storm going on, uh, that you were able to sleep in peace that day. Uh, help us to find that kind of peace with you. Uh, when we have trouble sleeping, when our anxieties are running high, uh, when we're just anxious or nervous or worried, uh, help us, Lord, to just quietly turn to you and to silence in us any voice but your own that we may truly know that we can lie down and sleep in peace because you alone, O oh Lord, make us lie down in safety. Thank you for that gift, we pray. Amen. And may you find that peace uh, through this helpful verse. God bless you.